Hey everyone, it's Apostle Michelle Peterson and welcome to part two of uh, the life of Jesus through the Father's eyes. And um, if you haven't seen the first video, check it out. The Lord uh, actually spoke to me. He wanted me to do a teaching, but he wanted me to focus on teaching about the life of Jesus and how Jesus actually lived. And um, the title is Through the Father's Eyes because what the Lord uh, is giving me is um, things about Jesus. Like in our first, uh, the first video, part one, the Lord actually said that um, the, the, the focus of Jesus was to please him. That's what the Heavenly Father said. Jesus' focus was to please him. And so we start out in that one going through how the Lord Jesus was trying to please the Father. And actually, he accomplished that. He accomplished pleasing the Father. Everything that he wanted to do, it was about pleasing the Heavenly Father. Even when he was tempted of the enemy and you go down and you read the words that he said, all the words that he was saying, it was scripture and it had the Father, it had God, you know, was in everything that he was saying when he was countering everything the enemy was trying to um, speak to him. Um, but that video, if you haven't seen it, go check it out as part one. And so this is part two. And so t today we're going to focus on um, something that the Lord said uh, something else about the Lord Jesus uh, in this video. So the Heavenly Father, this is what he said about um, the Lord Jesus. The Father said, Jesus wanted to help people and minister to them. Okay, so this is the second thing the Heavenly Father said about the Lord Jesus. He said, Jesus wanted to help people and minister to them. So when we look at the Lord Jesus, we look at his life when he was ministering to the people, you know, healing the sick, casting demons out of people, you know, teaching them, teaching them the ways of God, teaching them truth, um, sharing revelations and things with them, you know. Um, this was the Lord Jesus actually helping the people, you know. He was helping them. He was sharing love with them, you know, understanding, trying to uh, you know, help them be able to enter into a covenant relationship with the Heavenly Father, you know, and because the Lord Jesus was the only way to the Father. He is the only way to the Father. And so because He is the only way to the Father, He actually was helping us people and people, you know, when He was on this earth, uh, He was trying to help them have a relationship with the Heavenly Father to get that access through Him, you know. And this is something very, very powerful that God the Father actually told me about the Lord Jesus. Okay, so this is what the Father told me about the Lord Jesus. I was asking him questions um, one day about uh, just the covenant, and I got like a revelation, so I was like, okay, God, so Jesus had to come to the earth so that, you know, um, we can actually have this new covenant with you. And so this is the Heavenly Father. He corrected me. He said, no, that's not accurate. He said, that's not right. He said, Jesus did not have to come to this earth. He said, Jesus wanted to come. He wanted to come to uh, initiate the new covenant so that we can actually have a relationship with the Heavenly Father. Jesus wanted to come. So he knew exactly what he was going to be going through. He knew the punishment. He knew all of that. He wanted to come. And the reason why was because he loves people. He loves us. You know, He loves us. So He wanted to come. And so the Heavenly Father sent Him because He wanted to come. You know, and this basically, you know, uh, shows us that the first, well, the two greatest commandments in the Bible, to love God and love others, to love people, Jesus 100% walked in this. He 100% walked in it because he loved God. His desire, his whole focus was to please the Father and to do the Father's will. He didn't do anything, you know, without the Father being a part of it. That was his whole focus. Then his second focus was, you know, he loved people. He wanted to help people and minister to people. You know, you, you see him, I mean, he was just ministering to everyone ministering to multitudes of people and preaching to them, preaching to them about repenting and, and giving them access to God and revelation 
and understanding, you know, and the things of God. And, you know, the beautiful thing that the, the Lord Jesus, his love for humans, his love for people, it was so perfect. Like his love was perfect. And I'm just going to um, go ahead and share, share with you guys some of the scriptures that, you know, um, it shows us how perfect his love was for us, is for us, and how his, uh, his, he wants to help us. He wants to minister to us. Even now he wants to help us. He wants to guide us. And in the Bible it talks about that, um, I'll go ahead and read this. In John 15, 13 it says, Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. And when you go throughout John, John 10, 15, this is Jesus talking. Jesus says, As the Father knoweth me, even so know I the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. John 10, 17, Therefore doeth my Father love me, because I lay down my life, that I may take it up again. And then here you have in uh, 1 John 3, 16, Hereby perceive we the love of God, because he laid down his life for us. And we ought to lay down our lives for our brethren. And that's when you get into really serious love. Uh, if you can actually sacrifice your life for someone else. Jesus, that was the type of love that he had for us. You know, I mean, he really, really loved us. He was willing to lay down his life for us. And then from the time that he started in ministry, he was giving us access to the Heavenly Father by just guiding us to repent, telling us, repent. That was it. That was the first thing, like when he was preaching, he was preaching, repent, repent. Just that simple. Repent. And those that were willing to repent, that's the first step. That's, that's the first thing you do when you come to the Lord. You repent of your sins. You know, then now, you know, you have that access and now it's time for you to grow uh, spiritually to, you know, to not be a babe anymore, you know, and start growing. It will take time to grow, but, you know, over the process, you grow, you learn more, you get closer to God, you learn more about Him, you learn how to walk with Him, you, you know, you learn things about Him, and you get closer with Him, you know. So repentance, that you know, that was like, you know, He just came out, the Lord Jesus just came out, you know, with, you know, our first step to accessing God to enter into this covenant with God. So there is no greater love than, you know, the Lord Jesus, the love that he had for us, okay? And he wanted to help people. And so, um, but our, for, like I said, the part one was on uh, the Lord Jesus. His focus was on pleasing uh, the Father. And so today we are talking about the Lord Jesus. His focus was on helping and ministering to the people because he loved us so much. He really, really loves us. Just remember, the Lord Jesus, His life is our example of what our life, uh, our goal um, to walk in, to loving God. Everything that we're doing, you know, our desire is to please the Heavenly Father and to do His will um, and, and sacrifice for it and actually desire it. You know, the Lord Jesus, He actually wanted to come and um, to lay down his life for us. That's what the Father said. He wanted to come. Um, he didn't have to come, but he wanted to come. So with us, let's try to ask the Lord to help us to want to do his will, to want to please him, and to actually, you know, um, have the heart to do it. Let that be our prayer so that, you know, we can actually walk with God and please Him and desire to do His will. And also, loving people and helping people and ministering to a person's need, whatever their need is, to love them and minister to them and help them. You know, let's ask the Lord to help us also walk in that so we can walk in these two greatest commandments just like our Lord Jesus did. He walked in these. And so the Lord Jesus, His life is our example. And the great thing is that the Heavenly Father is allowing us to see, you know, the Lord Jesus' life through the Father's eyes. This is how the Father saw 
Jesus. He saw him as wanting and focusing only on pleasing him. This is how the Father saw Jesus. This is what he told me. Jesus, his focus was on pleasing him. His focus was on pleasing God. Then the Lord said he wanted to help people and minister to them, minister to their needs. That was the Lord Jesus' focus. This is like the way the Heavenly Father saw him. Okay? So we want the Heavenly Father to see us like this also. When he sees us, and you know, he will say, her focus or his focus is on pleasing me. That is what she's focused on. That is what he's focused on, pleasing me. Or, you know, him seeing us as she is focused on helping people and ministering to their needs. He is focused on helping people and ministering to their needs. That you want to, we want to, you know. And we, we, we want God to see us like that. We want him to see us like that also. Um, because, you know, that's a beautiful thing. That's the way he sees his son. That's the way he sees the Lord Jesus uh, like that. And so we want him to see us like that too. So remember you guys, first two commandments, the greatest commandments, love God and love people. Okay, and we see everything, uh, you know, fulfilled, the law completely fulfilled through the life of Jesus, our Lord, the Son of God, the Messiah. We see the whole law fulfilled through his life so i hope this encouraged you guys and this will be the last video i did hear the lord say that he wanted us to focus on these two things about uh the lord jesus life and when you're reading the bible from now on look at it you will see everything he did was to please the father to do the father's will and to help people those two things you will see in everything that he did was for god and people all right so God bless you guys.